In the previous episode on testing jeans, the Wranglers performed extremely well. This time we have 12 more brands with the most expensive brand costing $160. In the first test, we'll see which jeans offer the best breathability. Then we'll test the rear pocket strength. We'll see which jeans offer the best abrasion resistance. Then we'll see which pockets are the most durable. A big thanks to Cousin Eddie for helping us test out the jeans. He's got the perfect build for this at 6 foot 2 and a 32 inch waist. Most of the jeans we'll be testing have a size 32 inch waist. At a bargain price of only $10 is this Rule King brand. It's their men's dark wash five pocket denim work jean. The two front pockets and the back pockets are double stitched for added reinforcement. All major seams are also double stitched for additional strength. The jeans are 100% cotton denim, made in Bangladesh. I measured the jeans before as well as after being washed, and now Cousin Eddie's wearing the jeans that have experienced one wash dry cycle. Even after being washed and dried, the Rule King jeans are right at 32 inches. The front pockets are 9.75 inches deep, but the back pockets are a little bit shallow at 5.5 inches. And the Rule Kings weigh one pound, 10.4 ounces. Before we destroy the jeans, let's first test breathability. Breathability is the ability of air to flow through a garment to speed up sweat evaporation. Clothes that don't allow airflow can become very uncomfortable. I'll first place the blower inside the leg of the pants and then I'll seal off the end of the pant leg. And the Rule King jeans offer very good breathability at around 29.5 miles per hour. Also at a very affordable price at only $11 is this Kirkland brand which is sold at Costco. 100% cotton. The jeans include a relaxed fit and also have a double seam stitching. Approximate 492 GSM or 14 15.5 ounce fabric weight. The jeans are made in Madagascar. The Kirkland jeans are supposed to have a 30 inch waist and the waist is right at 30 inches. The front pockets are pretty shallow at 6.5 inches but the back pockets are pretty standard at 6. And the Kirkland jeans weigh 1 pound 13.3 ounces. And the Kirkland jeans offer a lot less breathability than the Rural Kings at 11 miles per hour. At a price of $13 are these Rustlers Men's Classic Fit. Includes a 5 pocket styling with straight leg and includes a relaxed fit through seat and thigh. The Rustlers are made in Mexico. And the waist on the Rustlers is right at 32 inches. Front pocket depth is 7 inches and back pocket 6. And the Rustlers weigh 1 pound, 9.5 ounces. And the Rustlers offer a little bit better air movement than the Kirklands at 12.5 miles per hour. At a price of $20 is this Redhead brand which is sold at Bass Pro. It's a relaxed fit jeans for men. The jeans are made of a heavier 13.5 ounce 100% cotton denim. Made in Mexico. Even after a wash dry cycle, the Redheads are a little bit large at 32.5 inches. 9 inches for the front and 6 inches for the back pockets. And the Redheads weigh 1 pound 11.4 ounces. And the Redheads performed about the same as the Rustlers at 12.7 miles per hour. I had a lot of requests to test the Wrangler 13 MWZ jeans, which cost right at $40. They're made to be stacked over your favorite pair of boots. Comfort for long days in the saddle. Made for authentic cowboys and worn by world champions. The Wranglers are made in Nicaragua, right at a 32-inch waist. 6.5 inches for the front pockets and 5.25 for the back. And the Wrangler jeans weigh 1 pound, 14.1 ounces. And the Wranglers are the heaviest jeans in the lineup, and the breathability is around 12.5 miles per hour. Looking at the number of reviews on Amazon, the Levi 501 jeans are extremely popular and cost right at $45. Includes a regular fit through the seat and thigh. Straight leg with a button fly. The Levi 501s are made in Egypt. 32 inch waist for the Levi's. 9 inches for the front pockets and 6 inches for the back. And the Levi 501s weigh 1 pound 11.3 ounces. And the Levi's move into second place with a breathability of 15.3 miles per hour. At a price of $50 is this Ariat Men's Rebar M4 Low-Rise Dura-Stretch Boot-Cut Jean. Made of 75% cotton, 24% polyester, and 1% spandex. The M4 Rebar claims to deliver two times more durability. The Ariat brand is made in Mexico. And the waist is a little bit large at 32.25 inches. 6 and 3 quarter inches for the front pockets and 6 for the back. And Ariat jeans weigh 1 pound, 13.6 ounces. And the Ariat's move into second place with around 18.6 for breathability. Also the price of $50 is this Eddie Bauer Men's authentic jeans. Classic five pocket styling. Relaxed fit through the hip and thigh with straight leg. The Eddie Bauer jean is made in Mexico. And you get a couple of extra inches around the waist with the Eddie Bauer at 34 inches. Eight inches for the front pockets and five and three quarter for the back. The Eddie Bowers are the lightest yet at only one pound 9.3 ounces. The breathability is pretty good for the Eddie Bowers at 15 miles per hour. At a price of $65 is this all-American clothing brand. Constructed with a gusset crotch to improve comfort and durability. This design eliminates four seams coming together in one place. Constructed of 100% cotton, 15-ounce denim. The all-American jeans are made in USA.
The All-Americans are right at 32 inches. 7 inches for the front and 5 and 3 quarter for the back pocket. And the All-American jeans weigh 1 pound, 13.2 ounces. The All-Americans offer a pretty heavy denim and the breathability is close to 11. At a price of $75 is this Duluth Men Ballroom Double Flex Relax Fit Jean. Duluth claims that their jeans are the cure for the cheap hotel syndrome. Duluth Flex Fire Hose Fabric Pocket Bags and Hem Prevent Fraying. Includes two big patch pockets plus a hidden back pocket in pencil sleeve. Made of 70% cotton, 20% polyester, 9% rayon, and 1% spandex. Made in Indonesia. And the Duluths are 32.25 inches around the waist. 8 inches for the front pockets and 6 inches for the back. And the hidden pocket is around 2 and a quarter inches. And the Duluth trading jeans weigh 1 pound, 12.3 ounces. And the Duluths offer the best breathability yet at very close to 34. At a price of $124 are these Origin USA jeans. The jeans are made using American cotton. Origin claims their jeans are true fit out of the box and based on standard American sizing. The jeans have already been washed and dried so you get the right fit. The Origin jeans are made in USA, 32.25 inches around the waist. The front pockets are 7 inches and the back pockets are deep at 6 and 3 quarters. And the Origin jeans weigh 1 pound, 10.9 ounces. Pretty good breathability at around 15.3. At a price of $160, the most expensive jeans we'll be testing are men's best made. The denim has a careful, more deliberate way of weaving. 13.25 ounce, 98% cotton, and 2% spandex. 100% cotton pocketing featuring a herringbone weave. And the best made jeans are manufactured in Indonesia using Japanese denim. And the best maids are right at 32 inches around the waist. 8 inches for the front and deep pockets in the back at 6 and 3 quarters. And the best made jeans weigh 1 pound and 10 ounces. Very good breathability at 27 miles per hour. When it comes to staying dry and cool, the Duluths offer the best breathability with a rating of 34. The very affordable Rural Kings also did well at 29.5, Best made 27, and Ariat 18.6. After one wash and dry cycle, the Kirkland jeans were right at their advertised size of 30 inches around the waist. Most of the other brands were right at or within a half an inch of their advertised size of 32 inches. Weight could be a factor in durability of the jeans, and the Wranglers are the heaviest at 30.1 ounces. The Ariat Rebar weighs 29.6, Kirkland 29.3, and All-American 29.2 ounces. Let's get the jean destruction underway and let's test the strength of the back pockets first. And the Rural Kings made it to 96 pounds before the denim began tearing. With this much damage to the denim, I'd say the jeans are pretty much ruined. And the Kirklands gave up early at 78 pounds or 18 pounds less than the Rural King. And the jeans tore around the pocket stitching, ruining the jeans. And the Rustlers move into the lead over the Rural Kings at 110 pounds or 14 pounds more strength. Just like the Rural Kings, the Rustlers experienced catastrophic failure. And the Redheads move into the lead at 133 pounds or 23 pounds better than the Rustlers. And the stitching outlasted the denim. And the Wranglers are designed for cowboys, and their back pockets are for by far the most strength yet at 169 pounds. And the Levi's are almost indestructible with a very impressive 284 pounds or 115 pounds stronger than the Wranglers. And the pocket stitching outlasted the denim. And the Ariats proved to be even more durable than Levi's at a very impressive 314 pounds. And there's a small amount of damage to the denim, but the jeans do look repairable. And the Eddie Bowers began ripping at 120 pounds or almost 200 pounds less than the leader. And the Eddie Bowers did experience a lot of damage. And a pocket came loose on the All-Americans at 122 pounds. There's a small amount of damage to the denim, but the jeans do look like they could be repaired without too much effort. And the Duluth jeans performed very well, making it to 194 pounds before the jeans began tearing. Unfortunately, the jeans did experience a pretty bad tear. And the Origin jeans move into the lead at a very impressive 322 pounds before the pocket tore loose. For the most part, the denim stayed together and the pocket stitching tore. And the best made jeans are very light at 26 ounces but still held up really well at 213 pounds. And the jeans experienced quite a bit of damage. Back pocket durability is one indicator of quality and the Origin USA's came out on top at 322 pounds. Ariat did almost as well at 314, Levi's 284, Best made 213, and Duluth 194 pounds. After the previous video on jeans, a lot of viewers requested we test the strength of the belt loops. And the Rural Kings made it to 88 pounds before coming loose. And the Kirklands did 33 pounds better than the Rural Kings at 121 pounds before the threads ripped through the denim. And the Rustlers performed the same as the Rural Kings at 88 pounds before letting go. And the Redheads performed good enough to move into second place behind the Kirklands at 101 pounds. And the Cowboy Tough Wranglers proved to be the toughest yet at 135 pounds or 14 pounds better than the second place Kirklands. And the Levi's barely edged out the Redheads at 103 pounds, which is good enough to move into third place. And the Ariats did very good on the rear pocket strength test, and it did extremely well in this test too at 162 pounds to take the lead from the Wranglers. And the Eddie Bauer jeans are the lightest in the lineup, and they gave up early on this test at 83 pounds. And the All-Americans belt loop made it to 100 
110 pounds before coming loose. So the area jeans hold on to the lead. And the Duluth Double Flex are definitely doing some flexing at 248 pounds or about 90 pounds better than second place. Very impressive. And the Origin USAs did better than average at 132 pounds before the threads tore through the denim. And the Best Maids are very lightweight jeans, but they still demonstrated very good strength at 163 pounds, which is just good enough to move into second place. So the Duluth jeans have by far the strongest belt loops at 248 pounds. The Best Maid finished in second at 163, Ariat 162, Wrangler 135, and Origin 132 pounds. Lots of viewers have mentioned having blowouts in the crotch area. And the Rule Kings refused to give up and the leg tore before the crotch did at 507 pounds. And it took a couple of tries, but the Kirkland jeans finally tore at 471 pounds. And the wrestlers experienced a massive crotch blowout at 333 pounds, or about 150 pounds less than the Kirkland jeans. And the redheads are very durable, making it to 492 pounds before finally blowing out. For those cowboys spending a lot of time in the saddle, the crotch on the Wrangler should be more than durable enough at 369 pounds. And the Levi's gave up the earliest yet at 303 pounds, or about 200 pounds less than the Rule Kings. And the crotch outlasted the leg of the pants on the Ariats at 392 pounds, or around 100 pounds less than the leader. And the Eddie Bowers crotch also outlasted the leg area the jeans finally giving up at 414 pounds or about 20 pounds more than the area. If crotch blowouts are a problem, you might consider giving the All-Americans a try. 669 pounds before the crotch area finally gave up. Very impressive. And the Duluth jeans are very stretchy and allow a lot of mobility before a blowout is likely to happen. And the Duluths gave up at 331 pounds. And the Origin crotch is very well designed and outlasted the leg material at 515 pounds. And the Best Maids are one of the lightest jeans in the lineup, but they're also one of the strongest as well. 571 pounds before the crotch area tour. If you're looking for jeans that offer the best protection against blowing out or a leg tear, the All-Americans did by far the best at 669 pounds. The Best Made jeans finished in second at 571 pounds, Origin 515, and Rule King 507. Tossing a nail, a screw, or even car keys in the pocket can cause damage over time. So let's compare the puncture resistance of the pockets using a 16-penny nail. And the nail punctured the Rule Kings at 2,806 grams or about 6.1 pounds. And the Kirkland did quite a bit better than the Rule Kings at 7.8 pounds or 3,564 grams. And the wrestlers gave up a little bit early at 2,320 grams or just over 5 pounds. And the redheads gave up even sooner than the wrestlers at 1,726 grams or about 3.8 pounds. And the Wranglers take the lead over the Kirklands at 3,874 grams or about 8.5 pounds. And the Levi's move into second place behind the Wranglers at 3,620 grams or almost 8 pounds. And the Ariats take over the second place position from the Levi's at 3,796 grams or about 8.4 pounds. And the Eddie Bowers move into the lead over over the Wranglers at 4,318 grams or about 9.5 pounds. And the All-Americans gave up a little bit early at 1,908 grams or about 4.2 pounds. And the Duluth Pockets are very durable and take the lead over the Eddie Bowers at 4,918 grams or 10.8 pounds. And the Origin did even better than the Duluth at 5,286 grams or 11.7 pounds. And the Best Maids performed above average at 3,822 grams or 8.4 pounds. If you're looking for jeans with pockets that can handle sharp objects, the Origin came out on top at 11.7 pounds. Duluth finished in second at 10.8, Eddie Bauer 9.5, and Wrangler 8.5 pounds. Let's test the puncture resistance of the denim neck. And the Rule Kings performed well at 11.9 pounds or 5,402 grams. And the Kirklands performed even better than the Rule Kings at 14.3 pounds or 6,500 grams. And the wrestlers gave up sooner than the Rule Kings and the Kirklands at 10.8 pounds or 4,878 grams. And the Redheads move into second place behind the Kirklands at 12.1 pounds or 5,466 grams. And the Wranglers are definitely cowboy tough at 15.7 pounds or 7,116 grams to move into first place ahead of the Kirklands jeans. And the Levi's also performed very well at 14.6 pounds to move into second place behind the Wranglers. And the Eddie Bowers gave up at 11.6 pounds or 5,274 grams. And the Arias performed about the same as the Eddie Bowers at 11.3 pounds or 5,104 grams. And the All-Americans move into the lead over the Wranglers at 18.2 pounds or 8,268 grams. Very impressive. And the Duluth jeans are designed to offer a lot of stretch and that may have been a factor. 11.3 pounds or 5,106 grams. And the Origin jeans performed very close to the same as the Duluth at 11.2 pounds or 5,102 grams. And the Best Maids only made it to 10.8 pounds or 4,908 grams. 
Rams. If you're looking for jeans that offer the best resistance to sharp objects, the All-Americans did by far the best at 18.2 pounds. The Wranglers finished in second at 15.7, Levi's 14.6, and Kirkland 14.3 pounds. The knee area on jeans is a common area for failure. So let's test the abrasion resistance next using 180 grit sandpaper in this tester. The jeans will have around 7.5 pounds of pressure applied. And the Rule Kings only made it 4 passes before the sandpaper wore a hole through the denim. And the Kirklands made it 5 passes or 1 pass more than the Rule Kings. And the wrestlers did even better than the Rule Kings in the Kirkland, making it 6 passes to move into the lead. And the Redheads performed the same as the wrestlers, making it 6 passes for a 2-way tie for the lead. And the Wranglers continued to perform very well in this showdown, making it 10 passes and moving into the lead over the wrestlers and the Redheads. And the Levi's gave up early at 4 passes, the same as the Rule Kings. And the Eddie Bowers performed better than average at 7 passes before the sandpaper finally wore through. And the Ariats are even more abrasion resistant than the Wranglers at 11 passes and move into the lead. And the All-Americans performed better than average at 8 passes, which is good enough to move into 3rd place behind the Wranglers. And the Duluth performed even better than the All-Americans at 9 passes to take over the 3rd position. And the Origin moves into a 2-way tie for 2nd place with the Wranglers at 10 passes. And the Best Maids are very lightweight, but they still perform well at 7 passes. And the jeans with the most resistance to abrasion are the Ariats at 11 passes. However, the Wrangler and the Origin performed almost as well at 10 passes. Duluth finished in 4th at 9, and All-American, 8 passes. With the rating of 1 being the best possible score, the Duluths offer a very good fit and are the most comfortable with the best possible rating of 1. The Best Maids 1.5, Wranglers, Levi's, and Origins received a rating of 2. A lot of people left comments wanting to know the pocket depth information. The Rule Kings have the deepest pockets at 9.75 inches, Redhead and Levi's 9 inches. For the back pockets, most of the jeans range from 5.5 to 6 inches. Zipper quality is also a factor to consider. However, most of the brands use zippers made by YKK, the world's largest zipper manufacturer. After testing all the jeans, the performance difference proved to be insignificant. A lot of viewers also requested information on the number of pockets. The Duluth jeans have 7 pockets, the Redhead 6, and all the other jeans, 5 pockets. To make this a fair showdown, I removed all the subjective categories from the ranking and only considered the measurable categories. And the Origin USA jeans came out on top with an average finish of 3.7. The Duluth, Best Made, and the Ariat finish in a three-way tie for second at 4.4. Spending $160 seems like a lot of money to spend on jeans. However, I really like the value of the Duluth. They are a little bit expensive, but they also performed extremely well. I also like the Wranglers as well as the Ariats quite a bit. Those two are very good jeans for the price. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.